Putting the acorns in these screens stopped them from molding, but I had a sheet of plywood on this, figuring that would keep the rats out. And look at this. The rats went and just gnawed a hole to get in here. Not only that, but they're making a little nest right in the middle of my acorns. Unbelievable. So it would appear that you can choose between mold and rats in your acorns. Rats and mold. Both of them are the just, they're like, make they make zap very frustrating, let's put it that way. Maybe if you had a garbage can drilled full of like quarter inch holes. Well, acorns still look good to me. I would like to take a moment and note the amazingness of a simple thing, which is uh, squash slash pumpkins. I eat squash or pumpkin pretty much every single day, and I've been doing this for eight months. Almost all of this is stuff that I grew last summer. Some of it um, is stuff that I picked up through trading. Even with eating squash pretty much every day, I've got a pretty good reserve stacked up here which is kind of funny because I'm already getting squash out of the greenhouse again. And also the storage ability of these is just insane. I mean, most of these are almost a year old at this point. In the apocalypse, when it's everything's moldy and rotting and just going bad constantly, these guys seem to be pretty tenacious and an excellent way to, to store your food. Not to mention you can eat the seeds, which uh, I've been doing this whole time, but I don't think I've actually documented it. And here we can see our totally desiccated squash seeds. These things are really crunchy and tasty. And I'm going to add them to the, my, the rest of my batch that I've been collecting. I can't really stress enough how amazing squash slash pumpkin seeds are. They uh, kind of have replaced nuts in my diet and they're just, I don't know, they're just super tasty. I'm never letting them go to waste ever again. At the same time though, if you just eat them straight, they go pretty quick. So I've been uh, cutting them by making trail mix. Check this out. See her, every makeup and cut t-shirt. Every girl I wants to be her. And there you are, Zap approved trail mix. Pretty awesome, this stuff's super tasty and uh, it gives you something to eat on the go, which is kind of ended up being one of my main uh, <clears throat> shortcomings is that it takes so long to prepare food that anytime I'm out, I really have a hard time of it. All trust, if only in the morning she knew where she lived. If she wanna ride, she rides. If she wanna roll, she rolls. It took about a month to fill this bucket, so it should take about another two months for it to totally break down. I'm just gonna swap that out for a new bucket. And uh, while we're filling this one, this one can be breaking down. And I think you'd probably need three buckets to do this perpetually. Lawrence brought over a an awesome pepper plant tonight. So I'm trading him some soup for uh, for the pepper. Um, what do you think about my soup, Lawrence? This is what I have pretty much every night. I think this is actually quite good. Next time when I make the soup, I'll put some of your peppers in it for you. It's super fucking scrambled. This tobacco has been curing for about um, eight months now. You're supposed to cure it for a minimum of a year, but I have a guest over tonight and he wants to smoke, so we're gonna try it. There you go. All right. One right. tobacco cigarette. It's It tastes like a thousand percent better than day old when you pick the leaves and lay them in the sun. The first time I grew tobacco and I dried it right out and tried to smoke it, it was unpalatable. Use another year or two. Could you, yeah, that's the problem. But, whew.
Look at the size of this egg Jenny brought me. I mean, it looks like a goose egg. The thing's massive. Wow.